Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my knee pad video. I had people asking how I wear knee pads, what I'd recommend, what issues I have, and I've been using these three pairs, and I use the Vaughn 7400 pair that I have a review up on my channel. And I'm just going to talk about how I wear them, what issues I had with them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, if I use a garter belt, stuff like that. So, let's begin. So just for the things that I use for actually wearing my knee pads, first just got a normal player sock. I like the new Reebok ones and not the wool ones. Uh, the Pro Return stuff's better, but these I've just been using for a while, so it's fine. I use a senior size. I'm about six foot three, so I need it for the length. And even these ones being wider, a little bit wider, the Reebok pads were hard to get over, and they're kind of snug. But the bottom is very loose. Again, they're made for shin pads, right? Another thing is, of course, your player garter belt to hold up the socks themselves works wonders and clear tape to really wrap around that thigh really tight to make sure nothing moves now originally I use the built-in Reebok garter set that came with these P2's as you can see they connect right here but my issue was no matter how tight I made this waistband and no matter how loose I made these straps, it would always keep sliding down and the knee pads would pull the actual garter belt down on me and push my jock out of the way. It was extremely uncomfortable and it felt, it was just terrible. I tried different setups, I couldn't do it. I don't know if it's because I have long thighs or what, but I just could not wear this at all with my jock. So what I did is I ditched that, went to the socks, put tape around it, and it was all good. Now some people say that they don't need tape and that certain knee pads stay up. Every pair I've ever worn, I've had to tape. I tried going bare leg before and I just found the straps and the tightness gets stuck in your skin or your hairs and it's extremely uncomfortable. So what I always do is wear a pretty thick Under Armour pant. So it's, not, it's more of like a legging and that basically takes care of all comfort for the straps and everything. You don't have to worry about that. And it keeps me warm as well as I hate ice on the back of my legs. When I wore just bare, I found the pat, the knee pads to stay up better. And when I wear the Under Armour ones, they all just slide straight down. Even with these, these uh, locking systems is what they call it. The anchor strap on the Bauer. And the Warrior has this interesting feature up here that's supposed to hold it in place. I found that just they slide down right away. And the, I've had them halfway down my pad at some sometimes when I was first trying it out and obviously that's not very good and you can't have that. So a few things that I always look for for a knee pad, when I got my older pads which were Bauer X60s, they had a really thick hard plastic landing gear so every time I went down my knees were taking a beating. I had to buy knee pads with that even though I had thigh boards because my knees just couldn't take it and were getting bruised up. So I've gone through a couple. If you watch my other review for the Vaughn, the inside here was great when it started, but after about a year, I believe, to six months to a year, it got so soft that it felt like I was landing on solid plastic again. So I went out and bought a different pair. These Reeboks, for example, very hard plastic and protective there. They're not that bad to land on. They're not super comfortable knee pads. This is actually a really uncomfortable part, but they're pretty protective, and that was actually pretty good. Now, just to show you the Bowers, which I like quite a bit. They have one of the softer insides here. Pretty decent padding, not a ton of protection here, but the padding's pretty good to make it comfortable. These ones are, I, I do like them. I'm not, I have to do more tests on all of them just to see how much they hold up protection wise, but these were pretty good for that regards. And finally, the Warriors have the least amount of protection on the inside right here, well like the least amount of thickness but super comfortable but the thing about the Warriors is I never actually use these with the X60's because I got these knee pads with my set of G2's which have a great landing gear that's really comfortable and soft I didn't have to worry about that so these ones didn't really have to deal with the issue that the other ones did so now what I'll do is I'll put on a knee pad show you how I strap it up and everything and how I use a sock and just compare it versus not the sock just so you can see everything because I some people complain about tightening around the thighs. I have no issues with that. I'm okay with it because it helps out my pads in the long run. All right, let's get to that. So I'm gonna put these Reebok knee pads on and wrap them up just to show 
how it is and I'm going to put them on because they're the biggest and they have the most flaps which one of the reasons I put socks over is so it keeps everything tight so it can't catch, the knee pads can't catch on anything. So what I realized is when I use the sorry when I use the tape method around the thigh you don't really need to make these super tight these straps because the tape on the thigh will do the work for you which is nice as a lot of times you might stretch out the elastics or which well I have problems with that with everything because I like everything really tight and it just it doesn't feel as bad as your light on your leg for everything like right now these are super uncomfortable this thing right here is hard solid I don't know if it's foam or plastic but it feels weird especially when your legs straight out when it's bent it's not as bad but out it's pretty awkward. Uh, the knee pads themselves, like I said, aren't the most comfortable thing because they're so hard, but they are pretty protective. And now normally what I do is put a sock on, I'll do it in a second, but just for a general idea is you want to tape up this part right here and just wrap it around pretty tight. I tend to like to use the actual strap as the extra padding between the tape and my leg. If you can't get it, you can't get it, it doesn't really matter, right? And actually, sorry. as you can see, there is like all these little pieces that can get caught different places. I had issues with pants before where my pants would come down because they're pretty long and they would get shoved into the top of a knee pad. Or when I'd go down the butterfly, the, one of the pieces of the knee wing would get caught on here and it would just be really weird. Other times I had Velcro come attached because of other pieces of Velcro on the pad. Sock keeps it in tight, uh, keeps it everything tight and make sure no Velcro comes apart from everything anything so as you can see it is huge very long on the bottom it still takes up good it's big it stretches it but it does its job well and if I can get this tape off wrap it nice and tight now I found that sometimes I was making it a little too loose the tape job because I was scared it would pinch off circulation. What I found is I can do it really tight right now and when I play, I can't feel it at all. I don't know if there's something behind that, but I've noticed that like right now I really feel it, I feel it pinching, but when I start to play, I don't notice it whatsoever and it really makes sure nothing's moving. Yeah, I can slide it down here, but this will also be held up on top through the garter belt, which I'm not gonna put on now because it's a garter belt, and then you get a nice, no movement, a little bit of movement, but no sliding. Like I said, I always had issues with pad sliding, so this is a very good change for that. Now, just to try to show a quick demonstration of the, what it does for me is, it's kind of hard because I'm not wearing the guard belt and I just don't feel like putting it on. You hold this in, push it down, it keeps the, the pad in place. This is still wrapped around tightly around my leg. There's a little movement, right? If I let go of that, goes right down and then I can obviously pull that back up but this well it might seem that the tape isn't doing a good enough job and it's kind of useless what I found is without both of them at the same time the knee pad will just slide down but the sock will stay put having this tight and this the tape tight as well keeps that planted and this part and the socket planted so it doesn't move at all for comparison got the ritual knee pads on even with bare legs where I find it less slippery than with my Under Armour it's gone it does a good job of holding this part in but I found too often when I first tried these this part was sticking out and I felt it really awkward with the pad since there's such a big difference in this compared to that it was pushing the pad out it's very weird and as you can see not very comfortable so again piece of tape around here with the sock over it doesn't move whatsoever and it's been really good. The other issue I had with these is actually these ones specifically because they're the only ones I've really used with the Warrior pad so far. This part was getting caught on the landing gear so once I put the, the actual sock back on solved that issue right away. And just to compare with the Bower knee pad because I showed the Warrior and the Reebok as you can see there's a ton of space here which is really easy to tape it up. The one thing I wasn't a huge fan about these knee pads is because I like everything tight, these straps, I was trying to keep them from moving. So in order for me to make them as tight as they go, they're basically off the Velcro. 
it's kind of unfortunate there. They do have this nice silicone, but again, just slide straight down. Uh, so I put, don't really tighten these up much anymore with the tape and the sock. And as you can see, that's it. As opposed to, so work them together and you get a good end result. Uh, so thanks for watching my video. Hope it was helpful and just give you an idea of why I do this. I will be doing a review video of these knee pads as soon as possible. Definitely the Reebok and the Bauer. I just have to do some testing to see if I can really find out how protective the Warriors are because I really haven't been hitting the knees with those yet. But sometimes you can find ways like getting two handed with a stick. So we'll see if that works out. And if so, a review of the Warriors coming shortly as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.